45. There goes Davis. Oh, my gosh. Davis is going to oh. run it all the way back. Auburn's going to win the football game. Auburn's going to win the football game. He ran the miss. College and a full-time job usually don't work well together. And usually, 100,000 people don't watch you work. But that is the situation we put student-athletes in. The NCAA earns around $1 billion in revenue, while providing around $3.5 billion in athletic scholarships. While large, those numbers don't convey the full picture. On average, a regular student-athlete would only earn about $20,000 in scholarship money. Considering how expensive college is, is the NCAA really doing enough to support their athletes? Today, we are asking what people think about paying these student athletes for their dedication and hard work. Uh, despite the benefits, no, I do not, because they're still students. I don't think the double NCAA, wait, NCAA athletes should be paid because um, they're kind of, they're already paying to go to a college and play for a sports team. So like, I don't really see the point in them getting paid. I personally do not, and, I, and here's what I would actually say. I think, they, I know that they already are at multiple levels. Division one athletes or division two athletes, for example, who get full scholarships are being given something of tremendous value. Um, I think the NCAA should allow athletes to receive some sort of compensation. Uh, yes. But the, it, I think it, a big determinant, the determining factor is by who, mm -hmm. um, uh, and you know whether or not they should be paid by the school themselves, or whether or not they should be able to pursue endorsement deals. Those are two different issues, and I guess my opinion kind of changes based on you know who's doing the paying. Yeah. Does that make sense? Um, honestly, to an extent, I think that they should, especially if they are carrying their team or have an important position. I'm kind of torn on the subject. Um, I, I'm more of a traditionalist by nature. Um, being a former college athlete myself, um, I understand the struggles inherent in competing in intercollegiate athletics. Um, you have to position yourself to be in um, uh, a position to juggle academics, athletics, you know, uh, work life, social life, um, you know, home life, all those things, and it becomes very complex. Um, but, you know, it's kind of what we sign up for. As you can see, results varied. But we can split the main answers into three groups. No, yes, and yes, but depends on who's doing the paying. Now, let's take a look at some of the reasonings behind these three groups. First, we'll start with no. Um, I personally don't, I'm personally not in favor of um, intercollegiate athletics, intercollegiate athletes being paid um, for their performance. Um, and the way I understand Senate Bill 206, it's that student athletes can use their likeness mm -hmm. Um, and be paid through commercialism, um, you know, the whole EA Sports thing and the NC2A um, gaming uh, system and all that. Um, I think it puts, um, it, it turns intercollegiate athletics from a passion into a business. Uh, in terms of um, uh, side money, no, but I think, I think the scholarship, if they are lucky enough to get one uh, is uh, more than sufficient. Yeah, so I think, mm -hmm. I think scholarships, yes. I think uh, other payments, no. In turn, um, you know, we have a lot to offer them. And like I said, we, they do get a lot already with scholarship money, academic support, and overall experience. They make very good points. Maybe scholarships are enough. After all, a free education is nothing to scoff at. But to understand the full picture, we must look at the people who agree that they should be paid for their play. I think that they should, especially if they are carrying their team or have an important position. But by far one of the largest groups were the yes, but depends who's paying them. I mean, it's not a hard no to the university, it's just that would create a whole bunch of um, issues, with, particularly with like Title IX stuff and, you know, 
Is it only certain sports that are, you know, the, the, the revenue generating sports that are getting paid or, you know, do like the basketball and football teams, which make a whole bunch of money to the schools, are they getting paid more than, than some of the, the non-revenue sports? And, and there's a bunch of equity issues that come with that. However, with, um, with teacher or with, excuse me, with um, student athletes being able to use their own kind of celebrity and, and, and stuff to, to pursue outside deals to get other people to pay them, I think there shouldn't be any restrictions on that. I believe that NCAA athletes do deserve to get paid uh, not by the NCAA themselves, but I feel like they should profit off their own name and their own brand since they're the athletes themselves. Um, I think the NCAA should allow athletes to receive some sort of compensation for um, their efforts, I guess. I think it also depends on the sport. Um, is there a right answer to this? No. All points have merit and ups and downs of their own. But while this continues to be debated and how it would work still remains to be seen, we can continue to enjoy the sports that we love and the memories that come with them. Oh my God, the most amazing, sensational.